In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the engine air filter replacement. It should be a very simple walkthrough job. Uh, nothing too crazy that'll help you save some money, especially from the Steeler ship. We don't want that going on. This channel is all about saving money. Um, this is a 2003 Thunderbird. Um, so if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And we're gonna go ahead and start this video right after the intro. All right, so first things first, what we're gonna go ahead and do, uh, we got a couple clips. So we have one, two. So these little clips you push down and then you'll lift up the engine air filter. So we are gonna go ahead and lift this up. I'm gonna use two hands on this. So as we're lifting this up, we're just kind of wiggling back and forth. Now you don't wanna pull up too hard while doing that. Um, I do got it up partial way and Right here, we'll just grab our filter. You'll lift up. Looks like this one hasn't been replaced in a while. Looks pretty greasy. And then pretty much you can see inside there. So we got a little debris going on. It might not look too dirty, but once you open it, you can see all the dirt in there. All right, so here's our other filter. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and slide this right in. When sliding it in, let me give you a different angle. So pretty much here's another angle of what's going on. So as we're doing it, we're just sliding in the air engine air filter and it will just seat down like that. Now we have a couple notches that are right here. So on the filter housing, on the top part, uh, we have little slots. And then on the actual filter housing, we have those slots that need to go inside. So we are gonna go ahead and compress so hard to do this with one hand so I'm, I'm kind of like lifting up the base right here and then pushing towards over the car and so it's clipped in right now but it's not inserted on the bottom so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna release the little tabs and then we're gonna grab the actual I'm gonna do this with two hands. This is a little pain in the butt. So I'm gonna grab both little panels and then I'm gonna twist it at an angle. So we're gonna have to loosen up the little hose clamp that's actually on here. All right, so once you're done putting that in, now it's going to look just like that where the little slots are going to sit on top of the actual little filter they need are uh, the little top piece they need to go through that and then don't forget to tighten down back your hose clamp make sure that this is clipped in i'm pretty sure this wasn't in clipped in before because it was actually pretty easy to come out so as you're putting in the top piece you need to spin it counterclockwise while trying to swing it right under so we want to go under and try to get it on the lip and at the same time i was lifting up the bottom and just trying to angle it i was swinging like going clockwise on the bottom of it to bring it up so i can swing on the top piece right under so you have to work it both i mean it's a little finessing but other than that i mean yeah shouldn't be too crazy hard on that uh if this video helped you out thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future and thanks for watching